Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. We are going to drink a beer today that was brought to me by the one, the only, Sensodyne. Forwarded to him by the one, the only, Colgate. Um, this is from a brand new brewery in Sarnia, Ontario. This is beer two of theirs that I'm drinking. That I'm drinking. That I'm drinking. This is... The one that was the least interesting to me. Uh, not that it sounds like it's going to be bad, the, the bad, because it is a style that I actually don't hate. I just find most of them to be boring. However, of the whole six beers they had on that list, of their first six beers, this is the one that I would think would be most approachable to everybody. This is from the Refined Fool Brewing Company in Sarnia, Ontario at 5.7% alcohol and 23 IBU The Brew Ha Ha Nut Brown The Brew Ha Ha Nut Brown Okay Sorry, I have a burp <clears throat> Oh yeah For those of you new to the Albino Rhino Beer Review Not classy Not classy at all Woo! That's a lot of smoke. Uh, a lot more smoke than I expected to ever see out of a nut brown. Now, the only problem with this nut brown, and here is the uh, thing, okay? They made a milk stout, an IPA, a double IPA, a nut brown, a rye saison, and a bourbon porter. I've only had the milk stout so far, and it was a good beer, but a very approachable, sessionable, easy to approach beer for everybody. Now I'm having the Nut Brown, which is probably the second really easily approachable beer. Now, for the Bourbon I the bourbon Porter and the Rye Saison, and possibly the Double IPA and the Milk Stout, I can see the 750 milliliter bottle size. However, for a regular IPA and for a Nut Cracker, uh, sorry, a Nut Brown and Nut Cracker, uh, not Nut Brown, this is a little bit of overkill. Um... How many people really just want to have, like, three bottles of, uh, Nut Brown all the time? Not this guy. Not saying that people don't. Just saying that I think that a 750 of a style like this is just a little bit of overkill. Now let's pour it and see what we have, shall we? Sorry about talking so much. Ooh, what? Okay, as it pours, it gets darker, okay. I'm looking at it coming out of the bottle, and the color that it looks like before it uh, all just meets in the bottle. And I'm like, wow, that's uh, not very brown. But, it, uh, it fixed that for me. This is a nut brown that is ruby red. It is a ruby red color out here. Let me get my flashlight here, because it didn't look like you guys could tell very well. Here we go. Ruby red. Ruby red. Now, no, I'm not stealing the flashlight idea that people use. I've seen many people do it. I don't do it very often. But sometimes, like right now, on my big light behind the camera, it's just pure on ruby red. And then I bring it down here, and it looks brown. And, I mean, it might still look ruby red to you guys on the camera, but from what I'm seeing on the, on the viewfinder, it looked brown. So I had to pull out the, the thing. It's not usually something I do all the time because I have a light that I can look through. You don't. <coughs> Excuse me. Off white head, very pillowy, very fluffy, very soft. Smell. Hmm. Kind of dull smelling. I mean,. It's a dull beer, so don't get me wrong, it's, well, I don't know if the, you know what I mean, it's a dull style. To me, personally, it's a dull style. But, I mean, I'm not smelling much. A little bit of caramel and a little bit of roastiness, that's all I'm really picking up. Unless I'm getting sick, but uh, my nose usually works better than this. Oh, it's because I'm still smelling my wife. No, that was very unclassy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cheers. Apparently, I chase away a lot of new viewers. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. 
That is not a subtle nut brown. Not a subtle nut brown at all. Uh, in all honesty, I like nut browns. Uh, the Ephus Oatmeal brand, Nut Brown is a really good brown ale. Uh, the Black Oak Nut Brown is a brown ale I enjoy. Uh, Brooklyn's Nut Brown is a brown ale. Like, there's, there's so many nut browns out there that I enjoy. I don't think this is one of them. I actually enjoyed the Milk Stout quite a bit. I don't think I like this. Mmm. Okay, I've realized now why I don't like this very much. Uh, the first sip, you got hit with a whole bunch of bitterness, a whole bunch of roasted bitterness, which I was okay with. Uh, the second and third sip, that went away and you're getting that weird sweetness that you pick up from a Belgian double. This actually tastes a lot like a Belgian double. Uh, Belgian double with nut brown characteristics. So a lot like the Ephus, which was an oatmeal brown, uh, it does change the ale quite a bit. It, it's a different turn on the ale, but it's a turn I don't like all that much myself. The Brouhaha, well-crafted beer. I mean, it's complex. It's a nut brown that's complex. I don't. I, I thought it would be the one that would be most approachable for everybody. But so far, of the two I've had, it was the Milk Stout. This not nearly as approachable, in my opinion, for everybody. What you're looking for here is somebody that really enjoys Belgian style beers and wants something slightly different. You do get the nut brown characteristics. The back, the finish is where the nut brown comes out. You get that, uh, that nutty bitterness, you know when you chew on a bunch of different nuts, uh, peanuts, almonds, uh, cashews, anything like that, how you get that kind of oily bitterness on the back of your tongue, you're getting that. You're getting a roasty malt bitterness on the back of the tongue as well. You're getting a slight earthy English uh, hop characteristic on the back of the tongue. Everything else screams Belgian, a Belgian double. You're getting that nice candy, candy sweetness on the forefront, the candy sugar sweetness on the forefront. You're getting that sort of caramelly, sort of malty uh, malt sensation, but it's also very light. It's very thin for what it is. I, I was expecting a medium-bodied beer. I'm getting a light-bodied beer. Not a bad beer at all, and i got to keep stressing that, especially when it's a new brewery that doesn't know who I am. I'm very honest about what I think and what I feel. And I'm just giving my honest opinions on it and my honest criticisms and my honest uh, kudos as well. But when I'm ranting on something, it doesn't mean I don't like the beer. It means I'm, there's something I have to rant on. And I don't dislike this beer. It's just not my thing. Of the two beers, it's the beer I like the least. I'd still pass it. I mean, it's a passable beer. It's just... First off, it's a 750 milliliter bottle. And as I said, who wants a 750 milliliter bottle of a nut brown? And I can especially say with an asterisk, I don't want a 750 milliliter bottle of a nut brown that tastes like this one. Some people might. I don't. Yeah, it's just, it's not me. It's not me. It isn't the worst beer I've had. It's not a bad beer. The aftertaste is really nice. The somewhat thin, somewhat watery, somewhat sweet front end, not my thing. So if the whole beer was the back end, this would be a great beer, but the whole beer isn't the back end. Everything's there. There's the, there's the look, there's the scent, there's the forefront taste, there's the background taste. The look is okay. The scent wasn't much. The foreground taste, not my thing. Background taste, my thing. I'm going to give it a 5.75. Uh, I could drink it. I just don't want to. I really don't. I don't even want to really share it with anybody. I'll sit back and I'll finish this while I watch Sharknado. And that'll be the last time I have the Nut Brown. I'll buy the Milk Stout again. Last time I'll have the Nut Brown. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.